That's great to hear. Naomi, do you have any thoughts? Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, la from the last panel, there definitely was a lot. It, it's interesting to hear that, and it's also hard to hear that, because it's like, well, we don't want to be the bad guy either. <laughs> like, that's not, you know, hopefully we're emailing you, and you're going to be excited that we're emailing you. Um, <laughs> that's the hope. I mean, coming also from the editorial perspective, at Teen Vogue, I got spammed all the time. It's just, unfortunately, it's part of being in the media. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just you're going to get like a lot of stuff in your inbox, mm -hmm. whether you want it or not. And half of it you delete, but you, you just do. Um, but so now with the clients, yeah, it is about trying to make sure that, you know, I've researched the blogs enough and know what, what they want and in order to approach them with something that they are going to be excited about. Um, and that's hard, because I, I know you're busy. Like, I know you're getting these emails all day. Um, but, you know, we are, we're all excited yeah. about fashion. Like, that's what we're all doing. So hopefully we can do it together. <laughs> Susan, you have thoughts on that? Um, yeah, I mean, I think, so, from our point of view at ModCloth, I mean, it's absolutely been we love hearing from our customers. We love hearing from bloggers, from press, from everyone. You know, we, we're putting ourselves out there. We want to get the feedback, whether it's good or bad. Um, but that can be, I mean, you are, you're putting your brand out there. Sometimes you're putting your brand in other people's hands, which is, can be scary. I mean, I think, I've, coming from my point of view, like, ModCloth is a brand that's so personal for me because I started it, it was like a one woman operation for a while. And it's very much not that anymore. We have a, an incredible team and I'm not, if I was doing everything, you know, I wouldn't be here. I'd be dead by now probably <laughs> from all the stress. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it is, you know, it's, I think anyone who writes a blog, anyone who takes an outfit photo and puts it on the internet, you're putting yourself out there. You're opening yourself up for criticism, whether it's good or bad. And, but I, I mean, as, as much as, you know, we are, we're a retailer, so we're carrying other designers' goods. You know, sometimes, I think Rebecca from The Clothes Horse said, you know, sometimes as brands have to be willing for a blogger to write a bad review, and sometimes that happens, you know? Maybe the item's defective and it falls apart, and that sucks, it hurts to read. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe that happens. Um, but you have, to be, you have to be ready for that. You have to be willing for that to happen. And, yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's applicable to bloggers and to brands. You're putting yourself out there. Some of the feedback's gonna be good, some of it's gonna be bad, but you know, hopefully it will help you advance your brand, advance your blog, um, and you know, move, in, move in the right direction. Jennifer? I agree, um, in the sense that, you know, finding that authenticity and then really establishing a tone that, you know, is true to who we are and also is engaging is definitely a difficult balance. Uh, you know, for us, we want to develop real relationships and we know that's a long-term process. So we've grown completely organically, like we haven't done any ads or anything like that. So it's been very interesting for us, but you know, those relationships have reaped so much because they've been so organic and we're really trying to form long-lasting partnerships. Um, and I think that while we want our customer and our fans and bloggers and fashion types to really know about our accomplishments, such as great press and, you know, all the new celebrities that are wearing our bags, because that's really huge for us. Um, we also are really just trying to form relationships and, you know, talk to them about who we are, our news, what's going on, what they're thinking, get their point of view. So it's really finding that balance and I think still having growth. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next question is more about, um, your opinions on, on where you think the trends are going with, uh, with individual style, social media, um, in general, as well as uh, how you think it'll start affecting brands and um, retailers in the future. Start. Okay. <laughs> um, we'll switch on and off, okay? <laughs> um, I think that, you know, it is definitely affecting, um, personal style is definitely affecting brands. I can give a great, 
Well, first of all, we're very interested in hearing what our fans and you know what the blogosphere feels about what we're doing, mm -hmm. and we value their opinions very highly. I mean, most recently we did an interactive collaboration with Purse Blog that I think was very exciting because we did a design collaboration um, where basically people got to vote, fans got to vote on what silhouette they wanted to create, what hardware they wanted to add, what material they wanted to see it in, and really create their own bot care bag. You know, we get so many requests all the time, like, I love the Sasha, but I want to see it in this, like, silhouette, silhouette. I want to see it in this material. So we were like, we should just do it. And the feedback was enormous. And it's great for us to see what they think, what they really love, um, because, you know, the buyers is, you're, that's not, like, direct feedback. So this is really coming straight from the horse's mouth and giving our fans an opportunity to be involved in the design process and really our designers and, you know, Monica really hearing what our fans want and then creating something together that was hopefully, you know, interesting for them and very interesting and knowledgeable for us. It's great. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, I can, I can talk about where we want it to go and where we're, sure. where we're moving um, at ModClock. And it's absolutely all about getting the customer more involved. So getting them involved in our buying process, getting them involved in our merchandising process. Um, we run a contest on our blog called Name and Win It, where our customers get to submit unique names for items. And that's been hugely successful for us. Um, it's really all about, I mean, I kind of feel like all of us at ModCloth feel like we're kind of living the dream. Like we have these dream jobs where we get to work in fashion, we get to have an opinion in this industry that just 10, 20 years ago was so hard to get into. Um, like I have no formal training in fashion. I didn't go to, I went to Carnegie Mellon, which is like a total like nerd school, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, and yeah, I mean, I've learned just from getting out there in the industry, from going to trade shows, from talking to other people, from reading blogs, from just surrounding myself with, just surrounding myself with fashion, decide, like forming my opinion. What do I like? What do I not like? And that's so much of it. Um, and I think allowing our customers to really be part of that, to have a voice, to have a direction of where our site is going in every aspect. And that's something that I feel really, really passionate about. I'm super excited to see that happen, um, to get bloggers more involved. The fact that people can get into this industry, you don't have to live in New York anymore, you don't have to live in LA, you can do it from anywhere in the country, from anywhere in the world. And you can really, you can influence a lot of people. I mean, the fact that you know, I think Jane is here from Sea of Shoes, she was in Vogue, and the fact that I can say Jane from Sea of Shoes was in Vogue and everyone in the room knows what that is, is kind of incredible. Um, so I think that bigger, bigger, older, more entrenched brands that aren't getting this are gonna have to get it really quickly or they're gonna be disappearing. No, I agree exactly with that statement, actually. Um, it's, well, just also with everything that happened this week in terms of all these designers announcing everything is going to be live sh live streaming some things in 3D. <laughs> um, that, you know, everything is going to the internet. Um, and, I mean, there's one thing that I feel like I just need to say because it bothers me all the time. There's so many different types of blogs. Like, right now we're talking about personal style blogs. But I deal with fashion news blogs, which I consider a different animal. Um, and there's street photography blogs, which is another animal. Like there's this, there's many types of blogs, so just have to see, because I just don't like this idea of like the all-encompassing fashion blogger that's taking, gonna, you know, steal Anna Wintour's seat. Like it's just like, this, <laughs> there's so many different types of stuff, so just have to go out there. Um, so it really, but it really is about these designers seeing how important this is and seeing that, you know, the, the scope and range and ability to, you know, circulate this information so quickly is really important. And they are starting to notice it. Just, I mean, this idea of streaming fashion shows is huge.